Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be checking out some cool houses on TikTok. Asking people in Dubai how much they pay for rent. Wait, people in Dubai pay rent? Just buy the building, bro. I live in the palace. How yeah, much is the palace? 150 million. 150 million. See, this is what I mean. If this was in any other country, she would be joking, right? Some random person on the street. Yeah, I live in a 150 million dollar palace. Yeah, you definitely not paying rent. We don't have furniture yet. Yeah, it's oh, legit furniture. is a it's palace. Here. So this is the pool. And it's on a private beach. Of course. <laughs> Y'all literally have a whole beach to your set. Like, what does the backyard look like? Yeah, so you actually have a pool and an entire private beach. Like, I'm sorry, what? Gold elevators. Gold elevators. A movie room with stars on the ceiling. This is literally a palace. Royalty lives here. Whoa. That is insane. Check out that view. And then you got a bunch of other billionaires on the other side of the beach looking into your private beach. Uh, you know what? Not private enough. I'm guessing this palace is for sale. I don't think anybody lives here yet. It's empty. They spent all their money buying the place, didn't have any more money left over for furniture. Alexa, please prepare a bourbon. Hey, Alexa can't do that. Prepare your bourbon now. Just one moment. How does Alexa make you a drink? There is no way. So your cup goes into this little hole. <gasps> and then it comes out with your drink of choice. No way. I didn't know you could make Alexa do real things. I thought like, Alexa, make my light green. Okay, back to purple. Just kidding, I don't have an Alexa. So there are machines that like make you drinks. I have a Keurig, it makes me coffee. So it's like you put it inside the little table and then if it's like Alexa compatible, you can like tell her to make you the drink. This is insanely cool. I've never seen this before. Before you get a slide in your room, do think twice. She has a slide in her room. What do you mean a slide? That's a wall. Oh, so she sleeps up there. I don't know if climbing up this every day would be fun, but sliding down is pretty lit. I feel like I would hurt my Myself. What if you sleep with shorts on? It's not gonna be too pleasant for your cheeks going down. When I was a kid, I wanted to be Harry Potter, so my stepdad built me this. Oh, please tell me it's one of those secret bookshelves. Oh, it is. You grab one of the books, and then there's a secret room behind the bookshelf. Oh, this is so cool. But what if you brought somebody over, and they're like, oh, I want to read this book. Accidentally grabs it off the shelf and discovers your secret lair. I got a fireplace in there. I want to see what else you got in there. It's secret for a reason, right? So there is a hotel with a glass floor. Yeah, right under the dining table. So people could just like swim under it and just look inside. Yeah, I'd be swimming under everybody. Y'all are gonna see the crusty soles of my feet and breadcrumbs scattered all over the floor. Imagine trying to enjoy a meal and then your neighbor just comes swimming through like, oh, what you up to? That would be me, I'm nosy. I wanna see what everybody's eating. I also might be interested in what the bottom of your foot looks like. So not only can humans swim under here, there are also sea creatures that swim under. Okay, see, that would be cool. I wouldn't mind that. I'd be like, ooh, oh, is that a shark? Oh, not the shark. I don't know. He might be friendly, though. I don't know if I want to swim in the same water as a shark. I don't care how clear the water is. You know, why couldn't nature make them, like, red or something? Like, like a bright color to warn me of their existence. This is the house content we want to see. Show me the snack pantry. Oh, it is so gorgeously organized. All the candy, the snacks, the dispenser. This house, I would not be leaving. And like the industrial coffee maker. But how sick would it be to have a movie room and then this in the closet? It's like every snack you can possibly think of. Y'all got a whole store here. All right, that's very cool. Hey, I thought they were doing a renovation at first or something, but you take the floorboard off and there's a hidden room in there? Secret passageway. Oh, no, 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 no. This is where we keep naughty guests. Oh, at least it's got a TV and a couch. Prisoners be living in style, huh? Penthouse problems. So high up, I couldn't see the fireworks. <laughs> Wait, what? The fireworks are literally under you. And that's when you know you're a little too high. Your fancy little skybox starts to rattle. I can't believe the fireworks is under you. I'm so used to looking up for fireworks, but like, you gotta stand on the balcony and look down. I'd be terrified of it, like, popping in my face. POV, walk into my bedroom. That's not your bedroom, is it? Are those hamsters? That's a hamster bedroom. Oh, they got a whole little village? So you just sleep right there, and then the rest of your bedroom is like the little hamster village. Like, they got lights, beds, camera, action. They be living better than you are. I live like this, so my hamsters can live like this. That is actually hilarious. All I'm wondering is, does it like stink? Or maybe you get like so used to the smell that you don't even smell a smell anymore. Oh, I know what this is. You put your dirty clothes in there and it's like a vacuum that just like sucks it up and then brings it down to the laundry room. Where does it go? Oh, it's called the laundry jet. 
and then drops it in the dirty hamper. Okay, but why were you faster than the vacuum? Like, look, and then you gotta wait a hot second. Oh, there it is. What took so long? Did it take a detour? We have to make a stop? Also, I feel like this is kind of pointless if you live in a one-story house. This is one of the coolest pools I have ever seen. It's in a hotel, and it's like a three-level pool, and you can just like keep jumping down. I'm a big fan of water slides, but this will actually be really fun to just like flip into the other pools, unless they got kids on the bottom. Oh, so this is in Bali. I wanna go to Bali, but the flight. Over a day and a half of traveling. Personally, I cannot imagine doing that much traveling. I hate being on an airplane. And like, you want me to take multiple planes for over 30 hours? to like get to a destination. I don't think I can do it. I mean, I struggle to sit on like a three hour plane ride. This is a very expensive apartment in New York. It's all white, modern, floor to ceiling windows. Oh, it's not quite floor to ceiling. You know, we got a little gap. Gorgeous. Except whoever decorated this place. I'm not a big fan of the decor. The all white, ultra modern, the silver and the gold, the two tone. I don't like mixing metals. Oh, but the views, absolutely gorgeous. From every room, wow. I wanted a penthouse to live on a very high floor until I watched a TikTok saying that when it gets windy, the glass starts shaking and it feels like the building is shaking. Like it doesn't feel sturdy. And I don't know if I could deal with that. That's kind of scary. Why you got a platform for the bed? Like why you got Stairs. Are you a disabled dog? I'm sorry to all the disabled dogs out there. I didn't mean that, but some dogs need a little extra help. You know those little dog stairs to get up on the bed. I feel like I would stub my foot or my toe or something or trip every single night before bed. But that is a gorgeous room. Then the bathroom. I really hope you got blinds up in there. I feel like in New York, you could just like get a pair of binoculars and then just like look at the building across from you and just watch people do their business. There's a lot of creeps out there. Personally, I'm not a big fan of pissing in front of an audience. Whoa! Oh, there is a bathtub and the jacuzzi. Okay, this is sick. That is kind of excessive. And you got a huge TV like right in front of you. How often are you actually gonna use this? And it's like, why would you use a bathtub when you have a literal jacuzzi? Oh, today I feel like being a little more conservative with the water usage. And the sauna. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I would never leave. My parents got us all campers for Christmas. I'm sorry, what? Tell me you're rich without telling me you're rich. They bought you an entire trailer park. One one, two, three, four, five. Is this just like a subtle way of saying like, mm, here's a camper, y'all need to move out now. I mean, that's sick. It's like a whole entire house inside. And a bed, I kinda want a camper. That'd be kinda sick. Things in our kitchen that my mom wanted that are extra. Crystallized soap dispenser. The matching coffee mug. Oh, that looks sharp. I would definitely hurt myself with this one. That's a little too extra. A button garbage disposal. Okay, I have that. Black silverware. Ooh, that looks fancy. One of them microwaves that you press a button and it pops right out. Okay, Okay, I don't know why like luxury kitchens, fancy kitchens, whatever, they like to put the microwave on the island. So you gotta like bend down if you wanna like heat up your food. Why? Did some rich person just decide that they're too good for a microwave? No honey, we'll heat it up in the steam oven. <laughs> Leftovers? Never heard of her. Nobu doesn't give to-go boxes. Personally, I am a big fan of microwaves. Oh, that's a cool glass. Heated flooring. Oh my goodness, when I was in Aspen, I experienced heated floors for the first time. And they just like automatically turn on in the morning and it is so nice. You little piggies are all toasty. All right, those are some pretty cool things. You want a house tour? It's gotta be the world's quickest house tour. Are you walking too fast? Let me see the furniture. I barely got a glimpse of the kitchen. Well, what kind of pillows you got? Those are some small beds. Very rich toddlers live there. Okay, but that view is gorgeous. This has gotta be in California. It's a huge backyard, there's a huge pool. I barely got to see anything. Next time, can you walk slower, please? This is what the inside of a $70,000 camper looks like. Oh, this is nice. Whoa, you got windows and everything, a fireplace. This looks like a luxury apartment. I've never seen one of these that's actually like modern. A bathroom with a full shower. Okay, okay, the wood floors. This is a little too fancy. This is fancier than most houses. And then we got a bedroom, like a huge bed. All right, what else you got? Closets, like it amazes me how much you could fit in one of these. You got an upstairs? What? Oh, you got a bed. It's literally just a bedroom. And then two double beds. Wait, how they got so much space for this? It's literally just for crawling in and sleeping. Oh, on the second floor, the ceiling is low. You can't stand. You literally have to like crawl in bed unless you're like three feet tall. And you can go crazy running around on the second floor. But it's literally just for sleeping. It is wild how like all of this fits in like a lane that a Kia Soul fits in. One lane, you got a regular car. And then the other lane, you basically got an entire house. Wild. 
Whoa. This is just be chilling in the middle of the forest. Oh, it's like a chapel. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I want a house like this. That's like in the middle of the forest. Gorgeous. This would be a really nice place to get married. What's that one unique thing that your house has? Okay, what do you hide under that coffee table? What? A hidden switch that hides your TV. Oh, it's not completely hidden. Does it go completely behind there? I don't know why you would hide it. Oh, it kind of like blocks the windows. I, I don't understand the point of this. Couldn't you just like get a TV stand and then put a TV? No, it's ugly. I want a living room without a TV. Literally create a doohickey to disappear the TV. My parents just bought a retired cruise ship. I'm sorry, what? Just casually buy a cruise ship? Are your parents Jeffrey Bezos or something? What does a family need a cruise ship for? So we can take a cruise like alone as a family. That is absolutely insane. I've never even been on a cruise ship. So what are you gonna do with it? Live on it? I mean, I guess. That's just so excessive. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even realize people could like buy those things. Yeah, my daddy bought a yacht. Well, my daddy bought a cruise ship. Uh huh? Yeah. That's like saying you bought a museum or something. Even Mr. Beast hasn't done that but anyways that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the wolf pack oh, i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys and make sure you turn on notifications click click and i just released some new merch we got hoodie shirts tank tops at ogwolfpack.com i'll link it below